UAE Team Emirates climber injured from a crash added Suli Basque Country, but has been cleared for easy gentle rides. A little under eight weeks on from a horror crash added Suli Basque Country that saw him suffer three spinal fractures in a high speed fall. J Vine has been cleared to remove his neck brace for the first time and return to riding his bike. The welcome news was issued by his UAE Team Emirates yesterday, marking the first major medical update on Vine since he was cleared to walk a week after the crash. Going down alongside the likes of Jonas Vinchka Erd, Bismalisa Bike, Primus Roglic. Born Hansgrow, and Rimko with Napoel, saw a quick step. The Australian climber had suffered a fracture in the upper cervical section of the spine and two others in the thoracic section, but it had been cleared of any neurological damage. Update on Vine's condition. The interval CT scan shows adequate bone healing, so at this stage the neck brace can be removed. The spine is now stable enough to start with easy gentle outdoor rides with the aim of improving posture on the bike, and is key in preventing neuromuscular atrophy, doctors said. This process is being very carefully controlled, and Jay still has several weeks of focused rehabilitation to achieve. But this is the first big step up he's taken in seven weeks, which is good from a mental and physical perspective for him. Prior to the crash on stage four of the race, Vine had been continuing his preparations to support Tade Pogacar's ambitions in UAE Team Emirates Gyro d'Italia squad, with Vine having an eye on his own opportunities at the Vuelta a Espanya later in the season. It had been a fine start to the season for the 28-year-old, who picked up a pair of second-place finishes in the UAE Tour to spend a few days in the Red Leader's jersey. He was later part of the UAE Team Emirates squad that won the team time trial at Paris Nice, before placing second himself in the opening individual time trial at its Uli Basque country. Australian was just 30 seconds off the race lead when he was involved in the high-speed pileup that came to define this year's edition, with Vine suffering some of the worst injuries seen in the crash. Vine expressed his relief at being cleared of any neurological complications. Just can't believe that I will still be able to walk and play with my kids one day. I'm tracking as well as can be expected. I have been able to walk around my room with the aid of a walker, and taking the first step was pretty emotional after what I've been through, Vine wrote on social media. It was pretty scary for a couple of days when we weren't sure if surgery or neurological problems might present themselves. Long road ahead for my recovery, but I am looking forward to getting the process rolling. After nine days in hospital following the crash, Vine was been cleared to continue his recovery at his adopted home in Andorra in mid-April. His doctors decided that no surgery was required and that his bones could heal naturally, with general bodily rehab beginning within days. The Australian's wife Brie Vine shared her relief on social media. Besides wait for bones to heal. Safe to say that we will be spending a whole lot of time prepping for baby Vine's arrival. As alluded to, the Vines are currently awaiting the birth of their first child, with the couple sharing the news of Brie's pregnancy in February. A local photographer shared images with Vine able to walk and without his neck brace. His rehabilitation will now continue away from the spotlight as the Australian takes the next big steps in his recovery. Thanks legends and I hope you are all well. Don't miss a moment from the sports that you follow. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Subscribe, share, like, and vote in the community polls.